keeping their distance from the protest outside the governor's mansion. Officers tried unsuccessfully this morning to reopen a section of Summit Avenue closed since last week. Protesters are camped out in honor of Philando Castile, who was killed by police. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield is live on Summit Avenue. Susan Elizabeth. Well, Kim, the protest is ongoing here. Nearly a week later, you can see over my shoulder, there are about two dozen protesters still staked out in front of the governor's mansion right here on Summit Avenue. We're told by police that could change, but for now, the street is still blocked here. We want to show you some video from earlier this morning. It was a different scene. St. Paul officers tried to clear the streets. That didn't last long. They say for safety reasons, they decided to halt that operation. Protesters say they are here for the long call. Several of them we saw tidying up the area. They say they plan to remain camped out. One of the protesters I talked with told me he has been here since the very beginning. I'm not with Black Lives Matter. I'm not with no organization. I'm not with nobody. I'm a self human being and I got love for everybody out here. And this is why I'm out here. I didn't know nobody that was here, but I've been here ever since. Had no sleep, no nothing. And are you so going to stay? We're going to stay. We're not going nowhere. We got lives on the line here. And we're not scared to die because plenty have died already. You guys have a blessing. Now, officers say another reason they're hoping to open up this three block stretch here is so that they can leave. They can have less of a presence here. You can see officers surrounding the area right now. They say they want to get out of here. I'm told right now it is up to the command staff to decide how long they will be here and if and when they will reopen this stretch of Summit Avenue. Okay, Susan Elizabeth, thank you.